this steel concrete saw ran for about two hours without two stroke oil and we want to find out what's all damaged inside. It just stopped running and I think it's pretty bad. The steel service said that it's not worth to repair this machine. But I really don't like that idea to throw this away just because it's too expensive to, too expensive to repair. Of course they said better buy a new one, but that's only because the steel original parts are really expensive. But I am in the game because I can buy the aftermarket parts which are like one third of the price. So let's take it all apart to see what we have to buy or what's damaged inside and what we're gonna buy. I think at least piston and cylinder but maybe we replace the crankcase as well. But let's find out together. We will start with this whole front thing and work ourselves in. And what's the best way to clean off this concrete dirt? I have no experience with these kind of things. And I would like to make it look like new. But I really don't know how to clean off the concrete dirt. Please write in the comments if you have a good way. And when I got the steel concrete saw, I got this spring thing with it, but I really don't know where it's supposed to be. Maybe you know. We go ahead with the handle. For me this is so satisfying and exciting at the same time to disassemble these things. I have not so much experience with these steel machines and especially with the concrete saw. I have no experience at all, to be honest. But I think it's really exciting to see how machines look inside. That's what drives me the most when I repair stuff. I really like that. There's one more screw in here. I think when that's out, you can take the whole handle off. Okay, probably one more screw here. And by the way, I used to put all screws back to its position. And then I don't need my own videos later on to assemble. Yeah, this hose is in the way too much. I'm gonna remove it now. It's always hanging in the way. Take the air filter cover off. And it's T25 again. This is not too bad. I've seen worse, but change this filter sometimes. This cover is next. I really like that all screws have the same head. That's something really good. Okay, we got more screws up here. The disassembly is quite easy on these kind of things. Just remove all screws you can find and usually all the plastic covers come off. Okay, too much dirt in there. We'll reach that screw. 
Where's this head? No. Gotta clean that rod first. Okay. Still some dirt in there and I really don't want to destroy that screw head. So better clean that one properly. Yeah, never give up. Yes, it is attached. With this little hook right there. So I'm gonna take that off somehow. Okay. So I opened the clamp up a little bit with a screwdriver and then pulled it out with the plier. And then we got these little wires attached to this cover. So we'll either remove this one or we remove it up here on the cover. Can we pull it out? Don't want to don't want to destroy any plastic. Remove this wires first. Yeah. And then we can pull it out. It's that easy. And take the cover off. Does it look like a con concrete saw anymore? Not to me. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh. Yeah, we go ahead with removing the wires because all the plastic covers need to come off. Yeah, next this cover goes. And then we can reach the cylinder. The tear down and assembling all shiny new parts later on. That's the best parts. Yep, there we go. To take the cylinder off we gotta remove the carburetor first, or at least these connecting things. But I wanna clean it first, because even if it's destroyed, I don't want any dirt inside. What's the best way for this? Steal the toothbrush of your girlfriend and use it for cleaning. Sorry girls, you use the toothbrush of your boyfriend. I'm not gender fixed or something. To remove that cup, we remove these clamps right here and remove the cup with the screw from behind. But we start with these metal clamps. And now we can pull the rubber off. But we open the clamp a little more. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe it's easier to separate these whole two pieces now. Let's see if that's possible. Seems like it's only connected with these springs and screws. Let's try that one. So I think I was right, it's only connected by these now, can't really pull it apart, but it's only this spring anymore, nothing else, and why is it so, let's try this, yeah, yes, yes, I see one little hose, Deep in there, you can't see it, but... So what held it together now was... This hose. Pull it off. And now I think we can take it apart. Some rubber down here. 
think it's destroyed already. Yeah. Okay, got it. Now it's time to remove that cylinder and see what we got. It's fixed up with four screws from down here. Now this is the moment of truth. Exciting. This is tight. Oh, time to get the big one out. Hey, again, I win. So how bad is it? Yes. Mm. Nah. Not quite reusable. It's destroyed and this is on both sides. So this was definitely running without oil. That's for sure. But the crankshaft has no... There's this sidewards play, that's good. And no up and down play. That's good as well. When I turn it, there's one fixed point here, but that's because of the magnetism here, I guess. But how's the cylinder? Yep. You can see it. Yes. Um, yeah, wasn't running anymore. I know why. Makes the piston and to remove this one, we gotta remove that circlip in there. It's pretty easy, we go in here with a screwdriver. Make sure that the circlip won't jump. Yeah. And the jumps. Here we go, the circle. And now we can push that axle through from the other side. There we go. You can clearly see that there was some heat going on. And definitely some wear on it. Nah, can't really feel the scratches. So they're not too deep. The two cases are screwed together from this side. So we gotta remove this one to get the crankcase out, crankshaft out. And I hope with my method nothing gets destroyed. Okay, this doesn't work. <laughs> Next try with the wires. Good. Please do not just lose. I want to replace the main bearings anyway, so don't be mad at me. I see nothing because it's not working. The next try to pull this one off looks like this. There's an M5 thread in here as well. I put this piece of metal all the way through and push the screw against the metal and maybe the flywheel comes off. Why is this so strong?
Yep. Now it's definitely off. <laughs> and the piece of aluminum looks like this. Yeah. And now we can remove the screws that hold the cases together. That's what I wanted. And just put that nut back in position, but maybe it's too big to fit through the shaft seal. So I gotta remove it. Now, clean a little bit here. And there's some crank, uh, some surface rust here. I'm gonna clean it off as well. Now this should come apart. New day, new plan. Because I want to replace that main bearing anyway, we got to remove that clutch. And that's how we're gonna do. Clamp into the device, just like the flywheel. Now, try to take it out. Next try like this. Sometimes it's really good to have the small wise instead of the big one. And I clamped down the crankshaft and now we try. <clears throat> All crank is turning now. This doesn't work for now. So we try again to get this engine case or to split the engine cases. And I can tell you when things are about to drop on your feet, wear the safety shoes. Because nothing else worked on the bearing, we're gonna use heat. This bearing now got some hammer motivation, but hear that. Maybe you can hear that. Not the sound you would want to hear on the bearing. And we can remove this gasket now. Just take it off. I think this time we will win against the nut. Yep. With the right tools, no problem. I'm not all the way sure how to get this off, but seems like it's screwed on, so let's try. Okay. This is the wrong side thread. Left-handed, what is this called? I don't know. Write in the comments. Left hand thread, left side thread. I don't know. And as always, we put everything back together as it was. See without heat, if it goes out. No. And here we got the crankshaft, but this will be replaced, I think. Crankshaft, bearings. You hear that? Hmm. We don't want the freshly rebuilt engine to fail because of a lean fuel mixture. That's why it's always a good idea to check the carb as well. And that's why we're gonna take it out. get that spring out. Gonna open it up a little bit like this. 
move the handle forward and pull it. Maybe not. Ah, okay. Ah, there we go. Now it's only fuel lines. Yeah. Yeah, got it. There we go. What we're gonna do now on the carb is check inside if any rubber part is cracked or hard so it doesn't move smoothly anymore. So that's what we're gonna check. Maybe some fuel dripping here. So this is one of these parts I meant. If it's cracked, hard. See some dirt in there. So we're gonna clean that. Now this covers off, so we go ahead with these screws right here. Remove them completely and there's another membrane underneath should be without cracks as well, but let's see. Um, I want to try without removing the connection because I think I can take it apart like that. And if the membrane is good, we will assemble it anyway, right away. So. This one moves, that's supposed to move. But this gasket is not good anymore, so I think we're gonna order a new membrane kit, just to be sure. It's not worth to do all the work again later on, just because it's leaking. That's why we'll get a new one. Everything else looks clean and good. What will be replaced in the next video? Let's find out. Replaced will be definitely the cylinder, definitely the piston, with all the bearings. The whole crankshaft will be replaced with this and everything else, all bearings and everything. All the carburetor membranes and gaskets. Um, yeah, the shaft seals will be new. Let's see what else. Both air filters and yeah that's pretty much it. And now I have two questions to you guys. Do you want to see all the cleaning process of all parts? Is this interesting to you? Do you want to see that? I really don't know. And I see many time-lapse videos on YouTube and was wondering if you want to see a time-lapse video of the full rebuild in the end. I don't know if it's good to see or not, or I don't know, Just I just see many time-lapse videos, so I, I was wondering to make one. Maybe you want to see that. To see how this project will go ahead, subscribe, like the video so others will see it, and write a comment if you want to know anything. See you! Louis, hop da.